say this yeah. is a big rich town Yeah I just come from the poorest part Bright like city life I gotta make it This is where it goes down Yeah What's good, I Smoke Hip Hop Nation and family? This your guy, Bless One. Thank you for watching another video of I Smoke Hip Hop. Guys, this is like just been a crazy week dealing with Leonard the, the Fraud. You know, Leonard Charlemagne the Fraud. Anyways, let's listen to DJ Academics go in and give his opinion on this situation involving Leonard. And for, to those who don't know, DJ Academics was once the protege of Charlemagne the Fraud. Charlemagne the Fraud was a mentor to his protege day one that's being dj academics and they the two basically fell apart re resolving other situations but that's neither here or there it's the fact that a lot of people has been quiet about this and dj academics raised some questions such as like how come all these publications who couldn't wait to tear him down not do the same to charlemagne as the same they done to many other people involving in this me too culture so let's sit back and listen to what DJ Academic has to say regarding one Leonard Charlemagne the fraud and his rape allegations. But this is what I'm saying. And really, this is the again, I'm not gonna be too specific, but hopefully you get it. If there was an allegation currently with me and a another person say you know what i mean i don't know if you know like i'm very i guard my image very carefully because i know no one cares or nobody will give me the benefit of doubt there's so many people that don't like me i'll never get the benefit of doubt never right so remember when there was a chick that exposed me and i i messed with her or whatever but she exposed me she's like yo i got video of him sleeping whatever and you know what i mean she put that on her own instagram and I remember when she had emailed me or like texted me like a video of her with bruises and I said whoa she's about to try to then send to the blogs and all that like maybe I did something to her I've never done anything to her and also I didn't see her in the last four, four months I went to every blog and I, and I explained my side because I know without me explaining it they would run it and, and I, I was really innocent I didn't do anything but you know what it is I know that with me not building friends and me not fucking being the yo let's get along guys yeah i've challenged a lot of people nobody's willing to give me the benefit of doubt no they're not trust me they're not trust me none of them reaches out to me for comment for anything they just run a story trust me i've operated like that since then but, but I look recently and I see some stuff growing and I'm looking around and I'm like fuck it's like a couple of days nothing has come out the same outlets that would run a story about me in a fucking minute when it's one of the people they're friends with not a nothing nothing and I look at that I look at everybody I look at I look at everybody. I'm I'm going to everybody's page. And, and I know for some of you guys you might not get what I'm saying, but I'm going to go to everybody's page. Because you know what? If this was academics, if it was me they could get out of here, bro. If it's me that was on the phone, they would kill me, bro. They would kill me. They would make stuff up. They would fucking it no stop. There'll be no and, and I look at it and I say, damn. It makes me start to think, maybe I've played this whole thing wrong because I've made, I won't say enemies, but I'm not the guy who tries to be friends with people. I do my own thing. If you get in my way, I'll ignore you. Or if you speak negative of me, I say, fuck you. I don't care to make amends. I don't care to do all that stuff. But I look around. <laughs> Let me get a little specific. Do y'all remember? I want to get out. Do y'all remember when academics was 
supposedly, and I listened to the Joe Button podcast. Well, we told academics because of the energy he was promoting and um, the whatever, whatever, X got killed. And by the way, we watched him cry or be emotional about talking about X. And we're looking at him like, whoa, we can't believe that. Whatever, whatever. They threw it all on me. They threw like I was responsible for X getting robbed. Social media threw it on me like, well, remember, you got warned that he would get hurt. Bro, he got robbed. I could get robbed. I could get robbed. Thingies could think I have things that I don't have. Or they might think I do have things that I have. And they might try, try to take it from me. You never know. But I got blamed. But I look around these days. And I see how quick everyone wants to jump on me. I see how quick. What was the name of those guys? What was the name? Of, what's their name? Deesa Samira. I remember how quick they were. Yo, this is the biggest thing they're getting at academics. I saw how quick they were to do that. I felt I was unfairly targeting all those things. You know what I mean? And I'm not playing, I'm not sitting here like with a victim. Yeah, I'm not no like sympathy or victims type of shit, but I, I only like to point out to y'all that things are never, it's never a fair playing ground. Nothing is ever fair. I saw everyone chime in, whatever, whatever. Yeah, they were going in, blah, blah. Recently, stuff has ha been happening. I've never seen people more quiet than this. I've never seen it. But you know why I honestly believe people are quiet it's because it's people they have ties to because it's people who have done the necessary work which I you know what I mean I, I, I've started to learn I gotta scope my gameplay completely differently I was on some shit like a maverick in terms of saying fuck y'all niggas I'm coming through on some 50 cent shit if you don't like me or if you don't care about me nigga I'm here People ask me, yo, you want to reach out to so-and-so to bridge whatever gaps and misunderstand? Fuck them. But it's the first time I realized it might be important. Because, again, if a lot of things were me, I'm getting fried. I'm getting killed. There's nobody. Everybody you see giving the benefit of the doubt would never give it. And I look at all of that, and I'm a little saddened by it, because I see, and it's saddened, but, but like, it's like a, a realization moment. This is the game, bro. It's about relationships, it's about who you know, who you're cool with, who at the end of the day, you help them, and they help you. It's not just everybody doing their own thing. I've operated like I'm just doing my own thing. It's bit me a lot of times. But this is probably the most proof I've ever seen. I'm like, wow. Now, some of y'all might be like, what the fuck is he talking about? And you could interpret it to be whatever you want to be. All I'm going to say is that I'm sitting, I'm listening, I'm learning, and I'm looking. And I hope the way how everybody acts with everybody else that's not me they also will act the same way with me for anything for anything so that's it okay that's all I will say <clears throat>I'm your guy, Bless One. It's been real. It's been great. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And make sure those who seek justice and those who are here to crusade for justice, don't get your foot off Leonard's neck. I repeat again, don't get your foot off Leonard's neck. This is a cause worth the fight. Leonard, you need to get the hell out the culture. Your job has been unaccepted.
reciprocity. Hey guys, don't also forget to subscribe to my channel and please look to your left, look to your right, click on one of these great videos and just check more content that I like to issue towards you guys and for you guys. Man, just support, support, support. I, I, I learned a long time ago I'm nothing without you guys, so thank you for supporting me. This your God bless one.